Hey, what's up guys? It's Kobe Cheese and I wanted to give you a little update on my mob killer machine. I've been uh, expanding it and working on it still. I, uh, I don't work on it too much, just every once in a while um, here and there. And I... Um, so I've been AFK here in this spot for a couple hours I guess. You know, a little more than eight hours because I went to work. And opened up my inventory and I've got quite a bit of stuff here. And that is not bad. Definitely a lot more than I had uh, last time I AFK'd here. And I just expanded the, the area just a small bit. So once I get it to the, the size that I really want, I'm definitely going to see quite a bit of items uh, coming in here at a much faster rate than a couple hours, see? So let me go ahead and jump out, and I'm just going to show you the um, the mob killer and what it's... Uh, look, there's one right there. Whoop, see ya! Uh, let me just kind of show you where all I've, um, what all I've been doing anyhow. And uh, first of all, in order to do that, I'm going to have to go light up the area. So let me grab some tools to do that with. Hmm. Yeah. Just going to need to grab something to fight off the monsters and then light the area with. So just a second. Let me grab a shovel. Probably going to use it here in just a sec. And some TNT so I can kind of show you how I'm expanding the area as well. Uh, that should be good. Okay. I'll pick go. Alright. So, let me just run out here and start placing some torches. Yeah, you can probably hear those skeletons drowning in there. Kind of cool. Looks like a skeleton's right here trying to get to me. But he's gonna drown. Sucker. Um, so when I actually come out here to work, I'm, I have to kind of break these walls down and then go light up the area so monsters will stop spawning. As you can see. And uh, actually, while I was working back here, I'll show you this in just a sec, I found the giant cave system, which I, which I call the infinite cave. Because I got lost in there for a long time. Did you see that? There was a skeleton right there. Okay, let me take these guys out. You know what? I can just right. go beat up the skeleton real quick. Oh, shoot. Where'd he go? Ow! Bastard. Okay. Anyways, so this is the area. I've been expanding it in, uh, a little bit. As you can see, there's still a couple of pieces. I'm trying to make it three high because... Actually, when monsters walk around, they uh, they move much easier, much more freely when there's three blocks high. So I've been trying to make the uh, entire monster area three blocks high. And the way I've been doing that is with TNT, which I'll show you also in, in just a second. But anyways, let me give you a little bit of an idea on how monster spawning actually works. Because uh, that's actually pretty important to this, this whole machine design. Now, uh, right now, the way it works is Notch has... Um, gone in and uh, I guess basically they, they can spawn in certain light levels any light level below seven so let's say okay so this torch here gives off a light level of 14 each space away so one two three four five six seven so this would be light level seven if that torch is light level 14 because uh, each space is a uh, one less light and that's considering there's no other torches obviously <coughs> so a monster can spawn here and then obviously you go you keep going all the way down to zero and at zero light, that's complete darkness. Moonlight would count as light level uh, four, I believe. And what happens is <coughs> a um, function goes through and it checks all the space, uh, you know, a couple spaces. When it finds a legal space, it'll uh, check like area around it, and it'll try and spawn a pack of six minions. Um, what it'll do is it'll it'll run a random number between zero and seven, and if the number is uh, higher than that that number then a monster will spawn basically in layman's terms uh, if you're in complete zero level darkness you're gonna have the highest spawn rate of monsters 175 percent more than light level four which is outside that's why we're doing that that's one of the reasons we're doing this on uh, the inside here also I don't want the um, farm animals which will spawn on grass um, at above 
a certain ground level anyways. They don't spawn underground, even if there's grass. Uh, there has to be a certain level of um, elevation, but I'm pretty low right now. I'm actually at uh, almost right above bedrock, so. Okay, so anyways, if there's a giant wide open area with no obstructions, you're going to have a higher spawn rate of minions. Um, also, you'll never have a monster spawn within 24 spaces of where you're standing. So I stand there, if I count 24 spaces, uh, which is somewhere over here, somewhere, <laughs> a monster will not spawn anywhere in that area close to me. And a monster will not spawn within, I think, 80 spaces away from you, which that's pretty far, actually. This is probably only like 37 spaces, so I only have a small spawn area right now, and I'm going to be expanding this further um, pretty soon, actually, now that I've gathered up all of this blasting powder and I can now make lots of TNT as well. But um, anyhow, another thing that you want to do is you want to, as you're looking around, you might check for caves. And like I said, I found this cave system here, which I've actually spent probably an hour or two just, just kind of walking through and putting torches in so that monsters won't be spawning here. Because obviously if there's light level, they're not going to be spawning. And the reason for that is that uh, uh, I don't want monsters spawning in that cave while I'm standing in there because they won't be able to get to my monster killing contraption over here, which is just going to hinder what um, you know the amount of monsters I get. If there's like 20 monsters back here just sitting in this cave system, then um, that's a lot of spawns that I'm missing out on, and that's going to lower the you know that's going to raise the amount of time it takes for me to gather up those uh, materials. So basically what I did is I tried to go through as much as I could and light up everything so that I do not have to worry about uh, monsters spawning in here and uh, messing up my, my spawning and all that good stuff. But uh, anyways, what I do is uh, when I get this TNT, which uh, you can see I've already got a little bit of it now, so I'll actually go in here and I'll start to expand the area of my monster spawner. And uh, obviously, I'm going to have to get some more water going here in just a second, of course. But uh, for now, I'm just going to I'm just going to expand. Um, let me let me go expand this way for now, and I'll kind of show you how I do that. What I'll do is uh, a technique called blast mining, um, and I'll go through here, and you want to it'll blow up a three by three area. So I just mine uh, two slots high. And I'll just keep going in here. And I uh, can't really see, so we'll do that. But uh, you just go all the way in here, two slots. Um, just take just a second to mine all this out. Redstone takes forever to mine. Gosh dang it, come on. Okay, so keep on going. Dang it, more redstone. Yeah, this is slowing down the video a little bit. <laughs> That's okay. I've got 15 minutes. Hopefully, I'll make this not too long. I'm just trying to show you guys a few things. Whoa, what is going on here? I'm just going to go ahead and cover that up for now. Um, actually, I don't even know where I'm at. I don't want to mine too far. I just want to... Let's go ahead and... Oh, the okay. So, I just fell in my own little hole, obviously. <laughs> All right. Jeez. Do, 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 do. Okay. So anyways, uh, let's just mine to like right here. That ought to do it. Hey look, iron. Cool. Alright, so let me block this off because basically you want everything to be blocked off or your blast radius is going to be a lot bigger than you want it to be. Um, what you'll do is you place down a block and then you'll put TNT right on top of that block. And then you'll put five blocks. So one, two, three, four, five TNT. One, two, three, four, five TNT. One, two, three, four, five TNT. One, two, three, four, five and TNT. And then you'll just block off that little spot there, punch the TNT, block it off again, and move out of the way so you don't get hit by the blast. And... Booyah! That's how it works. And that way, it easily expands your area up to three high, which is really nice. You don't have to sit there and mine for so long, which if you watch my time lapse video, you see it took me forever to do. Um, that was three hours of footage of just mining stuff out, and I think it actually took me longer than three hours, but um, 
That's just the amount of footage I had, actually. Anyway, so that's what you do. Just kind of get your TNT and, you know, your mob killer, like mine, doesn't have to be completely done. I've barely got, like, one part of a section completed, and I'm able to AFK there. Just, you know, leave it going while you're sleeping at night, and monsters will spawn, and they'll... You know, they'll walk out and just have yourself at least a little bit of a river going. And um, here later, uh, as I get further along, I'll probably create some, some water trenches, which I'll show you how to do as well, that actually go in here. Because I'm going to expand it even further that way as well. And we're going to probably make it, I'm going to think it's probably going to be best to make it about 88-ish um, spaces. 88 by 88. Um, so, anyways, that's what I'm going to be doing. Actually, I'm pretty, pretty, sort of close to that now. I'm going to, I'm going to go out quite a bit more. I'll, I'll figure it out and I'll show you guys when it's completely done. But for now, I just wanted to give you kind of an idea of how close I am on the monster spawner and it's actually, it's actually working. So I am able to get my TNT, uh, together and I'm able to blast mine and do all that fun stuff. And, uh, that's where I'm at. So, anyhow... Let me go ahead and pick up these torches and all that stuff. Well, actually, this video is pretty much done now. Uh, I just wanted to show you guys uh, that update on the Monster Spawner. So go ahead and subscribe to the videos. I'm going to be showing you some more cool stuff here in the coming future. Give me some comments. Let me know what you would like to see. And I'll see you guys around next time.